Hey, hey y'all, and welcome to another Croptober recipe. If you're new around here, hello, my name is Tiffany. We would love to have you as part of the family. Consider hitting that subscribe button down below before you leave today. Maybe even that notification bell. And just like that, you'll be one of us. We would love to have you. Hey, little one. There's a little one down here. All right, so hang on. This week, I have a cheeseburger soup crock pot recipe for you. Every Friday through the month of October, we are going to be cooking a crock pot soup and sharing that with you. I've actually run across this soup recipe a couple times in the past and for some reason just thought it was too hard, too much to it. I don't know. But I took the time to really just sit down and look at the recipe this past week and I thought, you know what? That's not that hard and it sounds delicious. So we're going to give it a try and we're going to share it with you. I've got my crock pot sitting over here ready to go. So let's get this soup started. Right there. Yep, there it is. It's got flowers on it. It does have flowers on it. Yes, I love my Pioneer Woman crock pot. All right, enough talk. Let's cook. My family is sitting in the other room watching the Braves while I do this voiceover. So if you hear some screaming and yelling, hooting and hollering, that's probably what it is. All right, I'm going to get started by chopping up some potatoes. I'm using five yellow potatoes and I like to use these because I don't really feel the need to peel them and I ain't about that life. I ain't about the life of having to peel potatoes. I'll peel them every once in a while for some good creamy mashed potatoes but if I can get by without having to peel taters I ain't peeling them. So Audrey washed these for me. I'm chopping them up and then she also washed and peeled two carrots that I'm going to slice. So when I get organic carrots, I don't peel them. These were not, so we peeled them. I don't know why I have that stuck in my head. You know, I can sit here and say I ain't peeling no taters, but if my carrots aren't organic, then I feel the need to peel them. I don't know, somewhere along the line, I got that stuck in my head, and so that's just what I do. And I'm also putting in some salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning. Then we're gonna pour in four cups of beef broth. We're gonna cook this on low for five hours or high for three hours. And about 30 minutes before it's done, we'll come back and add some other things to it. I also wanted to show you this broth base that I've been using. I showed the chicken one when we did the chicken noodle soup. This is the beef and I am really liking this. It's just a powder that you store in the pantry and mix with water. All right, about 30 minutes before the soup was done, we cooked a pound of ground beef, browned it, drained it, and added it to the crock pot. And then I'm gonna make a nice thick sauce to add in as well. So I'm melting a fourth of a cup of butter, that's half a stick, and I'm putting in a fourth of a cup of flour mixing that together really well and adding two cups of milk and then we're going to let that thicken up and make a nice yummy sauce to add to our soup. We're going to go ahead and pour that right into the crock pot. Now we're going to take this block of cheese, it's the great value version of Velveeta, and we're going to put slice that up into some cubes, slices, however you want to cut it up just to make it a little bit smaller. Then we'll put that in the crock pot and let it melt. It melts really quick. 
give it about 15, 20 minutes and it'll be good to go. We actually needed to run to basketball practice <laughs> before we ate. So when I put my cheese in, I just turned my crock pot on warm and the hour and a half we were at practice, that cheese melted. And when we got home, we had a delicious soup that everybody in the family enjoyed. The kids seriously ate two or three bowls a piece of this soup. They loved it and I did too. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, hit that button. Join our family. What are you waiting on? We'd love to have you. To all our subscribers, we love you, and we'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.